Okay, Mr. Slice from Advanced Quantitative Reasoning again. And we're looking at this particular thing right here for rectangular shapes, such as an H as a display. The longer side uh, is called the width, and the shorter side is called the height with an aspect ratio of W to H or W over H. The width is always the longer side. I mean, whenever you take a look at a screen, you're going to be looking at this side. This side, the longer side, is considered your width and the height is whatever the height is. Now we have several uh, uh, standard definition. If you take a look at this uh, this, uh, this this display on this thing, this right here is longer right here and it's shorter right over here. This is the standard three to four ratio for any particular old-fashioned ratio that they're using. Three to four, uh, four to three ratio. While we have the newer ratios for like cell phones and uh, also for like their computer displays. They're based off of 16 to 9. So we're going to be going ahead and exploring this. Now, whenever we look at any display that we're buying, we always look at the diagonal. The diagonal is what's going to be given to you, and that's where you're going to find out your width and your height based on the type of ratio it's been made for. Same thing for this one. This right here, diagonal, is what we base our uh, displays on. If you go to the store, you, you find a 19-inch display, they're going to look at the diagonal. All right, so what is the approximate ratio of the screen? Oh, and that's a graphing calculator. Don't worry about that. So we got the TV screen, the length, and the diagonal aspect ratio. They either use 4 to 3 or, 19 to, or 16 to 19. Find the width and height of an older 25 inch screen and uh, television whose screen has an aspect ratio of 4 to 3. So right here we're looking at this fact that we're looking at this, this is 25 inches and we want to find out our width and our height based on the information that we're given. Make sure you can see it. Alright now, we're going to go by the original sh uh, size Remember, we said the longer side was going to be our width. So the width of this particular small display is 4 to 3. It's going to have either 4 inches to 3 inches or 4 feet to 3 feet. And then this one right here, we're going to find out its aspect ratio based off of this. Now, this smaller display has also a diagonal. 3 to 4 or 4 to 3. Well, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem because this is a triangle. So 4 squared plus 3 squared is equal to our diagonal squared, which would be 25, so that's going to be 5. Diagonal is equal to 5. If you uh, remember anything from uh, geometry, 3, 4, 5, aspect ratio. So this is our aspect ratio, so we're going to be using this to create our proportion. Now we're going to need to find out what our width is We want to do in order to find out the area of the screen. So let's see, we're going to use, I'm going to use a different piece of paper because you know what, quite frankly, I need this, I need the space. So I think of everything like from this display to this display or this over here. So I'm going to go right here with this right here. I'm going to use the original stuff. So we have a 5 to 4 aspect ratio is equal to 25, which is from this one, to W aspect ratio. That's the easiest way I can remember it. Then we cross multiply divide. Which that's going to give us 20. All right. Well, let me just make sure cuz sometimes I go insane. 4 times 25 divided by 5 20. So W is definitely equal to 20. Then we do the same thing for the other part. So 5 to 3 Aspect ratio equal to 25 to H. Then we cross multiply and divide. <coughs> this comes out to, I think, 15. Let me just make sure. Uh, 25 times 3 divided by 5, 15. So H in this case is equal to 15. And I really should remember my units. This is 5 inches by 3 inches, 4 inches, 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 everywhere, everywhere an inch. 
So now we have 20 to uh, 15. So our width is 20 and our height is 15. Now we take those two and multiply them together. 20 times 15 gives us 300 inches squared. So this is the area of the screen for a television with a diagonal of 25. So that's why we go ahead and do that. Wants us to repeat the process for uh, 19 to 16. So, same thing. This is 16. This is uh, 9. 16 to 9. And the, and the newer 48 inch television. So, we have a big, longer television. And it's a total of 48. So, now we need to find out the diagonal for this one. So, 16 squared plus 9 squared. Take the, the uh, square root of that, that will give us diagonal. I'm taking a shortcut, I know, but hey, come on. If we can't do shortcuts, then why do we do everything the long way? No way, man, whatever. All right, so let's see. That's going to be 16 squared plus 9 squared, and that's about it. And we have 18.4. So our diagonal is equal to 18.4. So we're going to use this to get the area. So we set this up the same way, W and H. And this was 18.4. So we do everything the same way. 18.4 over 16 equal to 48 over W. I'm going to sort of do this at the same time because I can. 18.4 divided by 16 is equal to 48 divided by H. Then you just go ahead and do the cross multiplication and everything. Oops. I went and saved for a second. So 48 times 16 divided by 18.4. So that's 41.7 and the other one is going to be to do this for... Why did I put 16 there? It's supposed to be 9. Ugh, sometimes I just don't know how I'm thinking. 23.5. They multiply them together. So this is our width. This is our height. This is in inches. 41.7 times... times 23.5. 979.95 inches squared. So this is how you do this particular type of problems. You want to find out what the height is, you find you need to use those aspect ratio things. There's a few other questions about this, but we'll talk about this during class. We're going to have uh, zebra and peacocks, peacocks, whatever you want to say it. And this one right here is basically a, a four... A, four to three screen displaying a 16 to nine image and then there's a 16 to nine screen displaying a four to three image so we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about text boxes and all that good fun stuff thank you very much see ya